All right, guys, welcome back to an exciting tutorial series on iPhone development. So what is this series going to entail? Essentially, it's going to go through everything start to finish from installing the SDK, which stands for Software Developers Kit, for those of you who didn't know, to you know building really robust, complete um, real-world applications. You know, we're going to use a little, we're going to use some web services to connect to the cloud, do stuff that a lot of other people don't do because, you know, we want this to be complete. You, we want you to be able to deploy any type of application you want. If you don't have Objective-C experience, no need to worry. Um, you know, no big deal here. Co Coco, if you never used Coco, Objective-C, any of that stuff before frameworks or programming languages, no worries. You'll be up and running in no time. Just plug along with us. So. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need a Mac. If you don't have a Mac, you know, you're going to be stuck developing for Android, you know, which is cool to do. Android's a great platform. So, uh, you know, you know, if that's what if that's your route and you only have a PC, that's what you that's what you need to do. If you have an Apple, you know, get that thing unpacked, fire it up, do whatever you got to do, and come over to developer.apple.com forward slash iPhone. Once you go there, you're gonna see a link for download, and you know before I go to the download links, I'm gonna pull up Steve Jobs real quick and say a big you know shout out, rest in peace to this man because essentially you know he uh, changed the way we do things and uh, you know he did a lot for the community. So you know I'm gonna leave it at that and big ups to him. Anyways, back to the downloads. Click on the link. It's gonna scroll you down the page, and it's gonna say. Xcode 4.2 for Line. If you got a shiny new Mac, you know you already got Line. If you don't, you know like me, you're old school. Not really old school, but you know if you don't have a new Mac with a Line or updated your operating system, you're stuck with Snow Leopard. So you know I'd, I'd click this download button. If you had something new, you'd you'd follow the Xcode 4 link. If you're looking for you know iOS 5 and you want to develop with that. Um, platform you know you need to go to the paid subscription um, which there's two versions 99 and 199 dollar paid subscriptions versions so that's what you need to do if you want to develop for those so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit down the this is the free version I'm gonna hit download and this is Xcode 3 because it fits my operating system all right we got 3.2.6 with an iPhone SDK uh, our operating system SDK of 4.3. I'm going to click and download this. This is going to take a while. I actually uh, was going to show you guys how to install it and everything too. You know, click through a bunch of buttons, but it's not really necessary. If you've set up your Mac, you know how to install an application. Uh, this file is 4.1 gigs, so it's going to take a lot of time to download. It might take a good 20 minutes plus for you to download it. So we're not going to go through that whole process again. Click it, and there it goes. You'd want to keep it. I'm going to go ahead and discard it because I already have it. Um, and you know, just open up the disk image, the DMG. Follow all the prompts. If you do everything correctly and you don't switch the um, the install location, you know, you leave it at default of what it already suggests for you. You know, it's going to take you right over to. Your Macintosh hard drive, and you're going to see a new folder. Um, it's going to say Developer, and then you're going to go Applications, Xcode. That's where we want to be. Now, let me say something. If you come into Applications looking for this folder, or you use this application shortcut over here, you're never going to find it. So make sure you go to the Developers folder, and you go to the Applications, Xcode. Let's fire up this puppy and get rolling. All right, it's coming along. Let's go chug, 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 chug. Here we go. Well, it's taking a little longer. There we go. So, uh, you know, we're going to create a new Xcode project. Ignore the recent. Those are just a bunch of dummies um, projects that I was messing with. All right, so we're going to create a new Xcode project. It's going to launch, you know, a, a window essentially asking us what type of application do we want to build? Well, we're going to start with a few base application. You can explore these if you want to. Click on them and you know read more about it in these descriptions down here. 
but we're going to start with a view base because this is going to be the easiest for us to get up and running and to learn from. All right, so let's hit choose. It's going to ask us for a name and where do you want to save this? I save mine under the documents workspace folder, so documents workspace. And we're going to name this Hello Fredricate. Most people do hello world. We're going to be a little nifty, I guess. Not really, but hello Fredricate. Hit save. And there you go. Now you see your app right here, hello Fredricate.app. We're going to want to launch. You're going to want to come to the main. So we're going to just run this. There you go, here comes the iPhone simulator. We launched the app, this is the Hello Fredricate app. And this is our iOS simulator, so this is it right here. Now, what this is doing, essentially, you got a lot of different files you know, going on back here that all build up in a lot of different folders and whatnot that all build up, you know, how the actual app it works in you know how you control it so we'll get into all this uh, in another tutorial and whatnot and you can see the main calls right here as well so we'll talk about this all but more, more importantly is you just see how to actually launch you know the application just go to your app hit build and run from this little hammer and play button up here and it's going to launch your simulator and then you got an iPad essentially with nothing in it because we've created nothing. So it's, it would just be like a blank application. If you want to switch devices right now, except for the iPad, you can just go to hardware and your simulator. Make sure you're in the simulator. You can actually set this from inside the environment as well to the actual SDK, not the simulator, um, which I'll show you that in a second. So let's go device, iPhone. And now we have our iPhone up and running and you see this little icon right here it says hello fredricate it's truncated at the beginning it go of course nothing's there so in the next tutorial we'll start adding some you know just labels text fields things like that to make it a little more you know appealing instead of just a gray screen so let's back out of there and actually let me get rid of one more thing let me get rid of this right quick if you wanted to you know change your actual um if you had set, let's run this one more time. Let me back that up. So if you had run this and you had your iPad set and you know this thing pulls up every single time and you don't want to go in here and flip it every single time because that can be a pain. Um, here, all you do is come up to build, oh, I'm sorry, not build, project, set active executable. And right now, as you see, it's set to iPad. Oops, iPad. So you see our name, project name, oh, this mouse is killing me. iPad um, Simulator 4.3. We're just going to flop that to the iPhone. Now if we run again, it should launch the iPhone by default, which it did. And it automatically launched the application uh, that we were building, which is Hello Fredricate. So again, you know, we've come pretty far in this tutorial. If you've never touched any of this before, you know, you've learned how to install the SDK and at least launch the application. and you know, switch a couple things within the application. Um, in the next tutorial, like I mentioned, we'll be doing, we'll, we'll start diving into it further and, uh, you know, get up and running. So I hope this tutorial really helped you out. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a line. Anyways, all right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you next time.